opens today on the outskirts of Foggy Bog, Wisconsin, where, as usual, our heroes are in dire financial straits. Also broke. What's for supper, Fillmore? Uh, we're down to eating bean, Waldo. You mean beans, Flogmore? Uh, no, I mean bean. We got just one left. Gee, what are we gonna do with one bean? We share and share alike, Hoppity. Cut it three ways, Fenster. Uh, Fillmore. I'll take the big third. Uh, okay. <coughs> oh, the granite! Granite! It's gone! That's the first time I ever had a dinner disappear through a crack in the floor. Well, I guess that does it, Uncle Waldo. Somebody's gonna have to go out and find Don't it. Don't say it, Hoppity. Not while I'm eating. But you're not eating. And neither is anybody else. One of us has to get a job and go to work. Oh. What happened to him? Uh, he always comes all over queasy when he hears that word, Hoppity. Where am I? What word? Work. Oh. Nevertheless, the next morning, our friends were lined up inside the Foggy Bog Employment Center. All right, what do you do? Mostly, I hop up and down and I croak. You're a beetle? No, I'm a frog. I have my own television program. How are the ratings? There's the last ones. Hmm, you don't need a job, you need a transfusion. What about you? What was your last job? Making sockets for buggy whips. But well, nobody's used buggy whips for 40 years. True. I was the first victim of automation. Well, can't you do anything else? Well, I'm a qualified dirigible captain. Sorry. How about you? I can't do nothing. I'm just a loyal, trustworthy, and not too bright. You're also hired. See the man over there. And in five minutes, Fillmore had an honest to Elizabeth job. Gee, what a king uniform. What do you do, Fillmore? Uh, I guard the statue in the park. Gee, that's an important job. It was, it was. For that statue in the park was Foggy Bog's only claim to fame. It was a monument to Colonel Oswald Clabber, founder of Wisconsin's cheese industry. And it was the only statue in the world made entirely from Limburger cheese. It was famous throughout Wisconsin. Now, when the wind is right, it makes a pretty strong impression on Minnesota and North Dakota, too. Folks came from miles to see this cheesy work of art, always standing carefully to windward of it. Uh, this way, folks. The, the wind today is from the Northwest. How come you carry an oxygen mask, Fillmore? Uh, Sometimes the wind shifts sudden-like. Well, I should think a 50-foot statue made of Limburger a cheese had enough protection without a guard. Yeah, it does, really, Waldo. Yeah, my main job is to catch the little birds that fly over it by mistake. <laughs> well, since Fillmore has a responsible position with the government, I can return to my research. Research? Yes, into the laws of probability. Guess the number of pinto beans in this mason jar and win a prize. What's the prize? A mason jar full of pinto beans. During the foregoing airy persiflage, Fillmore had been statue watching, unaware that a couple of sinister types were observing his every move. Hey, there's a guard on duty. That worries you? That worries me. Look at him closer. You're right. There's nothing to worry about. I say, my good man. Yeah, that's fair. Oh. I say, my bear man, do you have the time? I got all the rage. I mean, what time is it? I don't have a watch. I know, but how about running down and checking the clock on the city hall? Hey, good idea. Thanks, Emil. Service to the public is our second motto. What's your first motto? If the wind shift holds your breath. Well, he's gone. Let's get to work. And donning some efficient gas masks, the two mysterious strangers hauled out some heavy equipment and began lifting the statue of Oswald Clabber. Well, what's all this about? We'll find out in our next episode, Out on a Limb Burger, or Cheese It, the Cops. Okay, and you can see it later in the show, so stay tuned. Hmm? Well, as you remember, in our last episode, Fillmore the Bear actually got a job and went to work. Oh, oh come on, Waldo. It's only part-time work. I don't know what it is about that word, Fillmore. Fillmore's job was to guard the 100-foot statue of Colonel Oswald Clabber in the Foggy Bog Public Park. 
It was a job not without its dangers, for that was the only statue in the world made of Limburger cheese. Yeah, it's perfectly safe, but must I inhale? But wouldn't you know it, on Fillmore's first day at work, somebody asked him a favor. Would you mind running down to the city hall and seeing what time it is? Uh, why don't you look at your watch? The light's bad here. Uh, oh, that figures. Careful, or that thing will fall on you. And what a terrible way to die. Uh, let's see. Uh, the big hand is on four, and the little hand is on... Fillmore, you better get back to the park. But Hoppity's advice was a little late. Oh, when they returned to the park... Cry, I look a fat. That what? At nothing. Uh, I got better things to do than standing around looking at nothing, Hoppity. I'm a statue guard. Yeah, and that nothing is a statue you are supposed to be guarding. Uh-oh. Somebody swiped our statue of Oswald Clamber. Uh, who could have did it? I don't know, but I know who's going to get blamed for it. Oh, uh, they wouldn't blame me for that. Oh, yes, they would. Oh, no, they wouldn't. Oh, oh yes, yes, we would. Now, oh, just a moment, gentlemen. I'm sure there's a way out of this. Uncle hey, Waldo! Just give me a chance to put on my thinking cap. That looks just like his regular fedora. I've got it! Mr. Mayor, will you agree not to prosecute Fillmore if he makes restitution? They make it? I can't even pronounce it. He means you'll get the statue back. I will. It's what is more, for a small reward, I will personally guarantee to apprehend the miscreants. Yes, and we'll catch the guys that done it, too. Very well, Wigglesworth. We will give you one week. If the statue isn't back and the thieves aren't in jail, you will be. Never fear. Let's take it on the heel and toe. Uh, how are we going to catch them crooks, Waldo? Who's going to catch any crooks? They're just stalling for time. We're going to take a little vacation, get it? <laughs> Uncle Waldo? Mm? Uncle Waldo? Oh, stop looking at me with those honest, trusting blue eyes, Hoppity. Uncle Waldo. All right, all right. We'll catch them. We'll catch them. Uncle Waldo. Hey, gee, Hoppity. That was wonderful, the way you done that. <laughs> now, obviously, this is the work of a gang. Yeah, one man couldn't lift two tons of Limburger cheese. Uh, he'd have to be stronger <laughs> than the cheese. I wonder if the same gang has stolen anything else. Funny Hoppity should say that, for at that moment in Paris, France... And from here, madame et monsieur, we have a magnificent view of that famous Parisian landmark, the Eiffel Tower. Voila! What voila? There's nothing. Sacre We've been robbed! And in London, England... Look at this, Carruthers. What is it, Prime Minister? Here's a picture I had taken outside of Parliament last year. Here's one I had taken the other day. Notice anything different? Hmm. You've put on a bit of weight, Prime Minister. No, confound it! The clock tower is missing! Big Ben has been stolen! Big Ben, an English landmark. That's terrible, awful, a national calamity. Yes. Put on weight, you think? Well, can all of these robberies of famous monuments and landmarks be part of the same great plot? If not, why would we bother to mention them, hmm? And what will our friends do about it? Uh, yeah, what? Nothing right now. How come, Uncle Waldo? Well, the episode is over. Oh. Be sure to see our next one, A Corner in Steel or The Big Robber Band. Well, here we go, kid. Back to the land of situation comedy. And all the news that's fit to see. Well, our friends have got themselves involved in a worldwide treasure hunt. Not only did somebody steal the statue of Oswald Clabber that was made out of Limburger cheese from Boggy Bog's public park, but other scoundrels had made off with a host of other national monuments, including the Eiffel Tower in Paris and Big Ben in London. Whatever shall we do without Big Ben to chime the hours? We shall muddle through, Carruthers. Bong, 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 bong. Bong, 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 bong. I say there, it's four o'clock. Oh, 
good shelter. But that wasn't all. For back in the United States... Now, there's something you don't see every day, Chauncey. What's that, Edgar? The Washington Monument. Lots of people see the Washington Monument every day, Edgar. In Pittsburgh? Hubbardy, we're going to need help to find our statue. I suggest we call Washington. George, Dinah, or Booker T. D.C. But our friends weren't the only ones with that idea. The leaning the Tower of Peace is gone. Maybe it's an inside job. Attendee, some low camel has stolen the Sphinx of Egypt. We must find Big Ben. Our Eiffel Tower. Our statue made out of Limburger cheese. Our Sphinx. So does ours. Flash, in this drastic emergency, the armed forces have been called out to guard all the remaining national landmarks. The Brandenburg Gate, the Pyramids, the Acropolis, the Brooklyn Bridge. Uh-oh. Did somebody already steal the Brooklyn Bridge? Of course not. It was so. Who sold it? I did. Boris Badenov, you're on the wrong program. If there's a chance to make a dishonest dollar, <laughs> who cares? Uncle Walter, with all those things stolen, how are we going to trace an itty-bitty thing like a hundred-foot statue of Limburger cheese? We'll just have to keep our eyes and ears open. To help out our noses. Hey, that's it, Fillmore. You've hit it. Hey, did I bust it? You're right, Hoppity. The nose knows. We'll track our statue by its odor. <laughs> and our friends were soon following a team of specially trained Wisconsin cheese hounds through the trackless wastes of Kenosha, clear to the far uncharted reaches of Kalamazoo. I think we're getting close, Uncle Waldo. Why, Hoppity? Look! Yes, the keen-nosed hounds had toppled over just in front of a gate in a high wall. How do we get inside? Uh, there's a sign here that says, Visitors, press button. I'll do it, Pensdorf, if you don't mind. The situation may require some finesse. <laughs> Uh, poor Waldo. Uh, he's got lots of finesse for the glass jaw. We gotta find out what's on the other side of that wall. Uh, we will, Hoppity. Don't push that button again. Uh, don't worry, Hoppity. Uh, missed me. Well, I guess it's up to me. Missed me. Missed me. Oh, you got me. But Hoppity's hot foot was a boon in disguise. For the more he hopped up and down, the higher he got, till finally... Hey, I can see! Over the wall! Hey, what's there, Hoppity? Wow! Everything! Hoppity was right. For there, gathered together in one place, were all of the stolen national monuments, including the Limburger statue of Colonel Clabber. But while Hoppity was looking at all that... Somebody was looking at all him. Who is this strange old man? And what is that sinister-looking gadget he's aiming at our hero? And if you aren't worried about these problems, don't you think the statue of Oswald Clabber has been standing in the heat a little long? Watch for our next episode, A Place in the Sun, or That's Clabber All Over. Boris Badenov appeared on this program courtesy of Rat Fink Productions. Yeah, and you can see it later in the show, so stay tuned. Hmm? They're found! Hooray! They're found! Our heroes blessed them. Finally found all the missing national monuments, even the Limburger statue of Colonel Oswald Clabber. Hidden on a vast estate in the untracked wilds of Kalamazoo, they were spotted by keen-eyed Hoppity Hooper. Unfortunately, he was not only the spotter, but the spotty. The machine acted like a giant vacuum cleaner. It sucked in birds, bushes, garden furniture, and eventually, Hoppity Hooper himself. Did you see that? I wished I hadn't. Uh, Something just reached out and got our little pal. We've got to get through that wall. Come on. Once more under the breach, dear friends, once more. Oh, close the wall up. No! Meanwhile, 
I know you're in there somewhere. What happened? I just used my super duper scooper on you. Hey, are you the one who's behind stealing all the national monuments all over the world? <laughs> That's right, Sonny. Cyrus Flugelhorn at your service. Not Cyrus Flugelhorn, the millionaire miser. Oh, you guess. But you're rich. How come you stole all those things? Because nobody would sell them to me, and I wanted to see them. Well, cry I, why didn't you just go see them? Because I can't travel. I get seasick. Why not fly? I get plane sick. Train? I get sick on roller skates. I even get sick talking about traveling. Stand back there. Lay on my dog. Hey, hey, Miss Fillmore. There you are, Huffinger. All right, get out of here, you creep. Fillmore, pick up that fellow and hit that other fellow with him. Okay, Waldo. Now you, stand away from Huffinger, or I shall show you what stuff we Wigglesworths are made of. Well, what are you made of? A brag, a groan, and a tank of air. Listen, fellas, Mr. Flugelhorn here has a problem. Yeah, he's got a problem. If we don't get our Limburger statue back to Foggy Bog, then we'll spend the next four episodes in the hoose go. Oh, well, go ahead and take it. I've seen it already anyway. Besides, I need the room. How come? See? They're moving in the George Washington Bridge. You already have the Brooklyn Bridge. Yes, and I didn't want to break up a set. Well, to make a long story interminable, our heroes crated up their Limburger statue of Colonel Clapper and returned it to Foggy Ball. But when the statue was unveiled... Yeah, look at that! It's Mr. Flugelhorn! He's out like a light! The Limburger must have been too much for him! Get him into the fresh air! Where? Where am I? Yeah, you're in Foggy Bog, Wisconsin! You mean I... I traveled all the way here? Yep. Sniffing that cheese knocked you out, and here you are. Ha, Ziggy! My problem is solved. Yes, you won't have to swipe any more tourist attractions. Yeah, you can go see them instead. Just in time, too. I have some fellas out west stealing Mount Whitney. Okay, boys, put it back. From that time on, Cyrus Flugelhorn became a world traveler. One sniff of Foggy Bog Limburger, and he was ready to be crated anywhere. On to the Riviera! Use no hooks. Well, sir, the statue of Colonel Clapper was finally back in place. And it was all due to your hero and mine, Hoppity Hooper, who said these famous words. Gee, Uncle Waldo, the floor is all covered with sand. Yes, Hoppity, somebody broke my hourglass. Then I guess it's the end of the episode. Uh, how come? <laughs> Our time has run out. <clears throat> for more sorry japes of the same vintage, be with us next time for more adventures of Hoppity <clears throat> Hooper. <laughs> That's three, four time. No, it's time for the commercial. Uh, it's finished, Waldo. About time, bring it out. I can. Why? They won't fit through the door. That's impossible. I built it like you said. The one inch here equals one foot there. Fillmore, that thing's as big as a house. Uh, bigger? You bird brain, how can anybody use a corkscrew that big? Uh, don't worry, I also built a cork to match it. Does it work, Fillmore? No, no! Hmm, looks like maybe it's time for us to go. <laughs> now I'm sure it is. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.